My hero, Ultra Rumble. Hello, everybody. Welcome I back to another video. I'm Today, here's twice. This video is gonna be specifically about a guide and why his gamma is really good. Most of the time, people say his gamma is based for movement only to get out of their tool, and overall, it's not the best option for twice. However, that's not actually true, and there's a technique that so many people have been missing out on that really makes twice deadly. As for this clip right here, this was no coincidence. No, this was premeditated. That Shigaraki you see right there, he is an opposition. He has it out for me, man, and I don't blame him. I mean, I am the king of exploits after all. Hey, Bryony, go f*** yourself, buddy. You're in no life. That out of the way, this guide is going to be towards Gamma and Alpha with a technique called Stun and Gun. Now with that being said, adding to the technique, I'm going to try to make a full twice guide. There is no going to be a sense of direction with this. It's just going to be me throwing out all the facts I know for this character. This is kind of different from melee strings you always see. I'm not just going to tell you the casual two melees, one gamma cancel into beta, and then you got a twice combo right there. No, this is going to be focused on canceling your attacks to another one to chain them together in a deadly succession. And it's sometimes not true, but if they don't dodge, then, well, we can get a lot of damage off of it. Alrighty, I said what I needed to. No more stalling. Now it is. Showtime. To save us both the time, I activated infinite purple cards, so I'm not waiting for cooldowns. You got a problem with it? Do me a favor. Take it to the comments. As mentioned, I say this is going to be mainly for Alpha and Gamma to get a better understanding, but let's go for all moves. Alpha is a long range knife, Beta makes a clone of yourself that does melee attacks and Alpha, and Gamma is a tape measure that allows you to move freely in the air four times. It's only one of Twice's movement abilities. Moving on to the next part, Twice has his special action that allows him to clone downed enemies, killing them. But if the enemy gets revived, the clone dies. You can have up to six before the oldest one disappears. His Gamma ability can stun people. It's a bit wonky, but it does stun. It's hard to chain together, and it's mildly inconsistent on its own. So if you try to use it twice, it's most likely not going to chain with someone. There's a way to make it slightly easier, but we'll go over that sooner. Moving on to his melee attacks, he has a 3 hit melee that has a very far reach, probably the farthest reach. He does 3 hits, but his hit limit is 5. So if you have 2 blue cards active, then you can do a 5 hit combo. 5 hit, don't try to do without a blue card. It's kinda hopeless and won't work. With that being said, his melee has another use. Turns out it's a great traveling tool. Though I rarely use it because it leaves me stuck in an animation. It is good for gaining some distance and traveling along places. Hold forward and tap your melee once to do it. Moving on to his air melee. It's a weird wonky kick that for some reason can be connected to beta if they have shield or flesh. It's preferably not a combo tool, so you shouldn't use it at the set. It can combo with a gamma to beta, but it's not recommended. As if the new twice changes, his beta is no longer able to combo. It used to be able to do more than this, but it can barely even take one, two knives to his back now. Now, you got all the boring stuff out the way. Let's learn how to cancel your moves. Your alpha can be canceled to your gamma, which is something everyone should start using. You can cancel your alpha to gamma, which your gamma can cancel into beta. And your alpha can cancel to a gamma, which a gamma can be canceled into an air melee. And we're gonna learn how to do this twice in one combo. There's no Street Fighter input, you need to do it. You just simply press one button right after you press another. So your alpha button, press gamma as soon as you see two blades go out. And then of course, after you see your gamma go out, press your beta button. It's really not that hard, you can practice it, it shouldn't even take you three weeks to do. Now, I have no idea if this has any use, you just do gamma into your alpha. 
I mean, sure, maybe if you're trying to get some weird air mobility, like that Aizawa thing Kido showed, but I don't know. As I mentioned earlier, some people will just tell you two melees, one gamma, and then a beta, but as you see here, it is super inconsistent to do, and it's not something I recommend doing all the dang time. Because you see how stupid it just goes. It goes from aiming in front of you to a different world. It will work rarely, but trust me, I don't recommend it. Real quick, let's go over a weakness of twice. Well, Gamma is a really good move for twice. The problem is, it doesn't start reloading until you touch the ground. And the reload, well, by the time GTA 6 comes out, it's still reloading. This joke isn't funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. Now, back to uh, attack cancelling, your air melee and beta should be used to end combos, not start them, because they do great damage, but since their hit limit exceeds that of probably 2 or 3, it's not the best idea to do all the time. Now here's where the fun begins. The average twice probably does a combo like this. However, the technique I apply makes something as simple as this child's play. This frame right here is when you want to shoot another gamma out because they're stunned and that what makes it a true combo. Now this is what happens when you use my tech. Cancel your alpha into your gamma and once your gamma knocks them back cancel back into another alpha and a gamma again then follow up with either air melee or beta. With this knowledge applied you can already know how deadly plus chaos can be, right? If they're on flesh, woohoohoo, bye bye health. It takes getting used to, but don't worry, fellow spies, you'll get it eventually. Thank you for watching this part of the video, and I'll actually show some games of me using it. Here are the games, none of my annoying voice anymore, and enjoy!